Hi, you're very welcome. And in this video, what I want to show you is, again, it's one of my Judge Judy ones, Real Cases, Real People. So somebody was asking me about how they could find the number of days between two dates, okay, but excluding leap years. All right. So the first thing I did, I went back to the list of years, and I've just put in 1920 leap year. And then what you can see is I put in this formula here. Now, to be fair, I got this with the help of Copilot. But basically what it does is that it follows the, the guidelines that's given to you in the blog post about like, basically, you know, is it divided by 400, you know, divided by four, et cetera, et cetera. And if the answer to all those is true, you get a yes, otherwise you get a no. Okay. So here you get an automatic list of yes, no's as to if something's a leap year or not. I then went back here to this one. I've got put in my start date. So if you're working on this, put in your start date and your end date. And this finds the number of days between them, just subtract one from the other. And then here, in order to calculate my leap year days, it goes to list of years. Now, what I did here is I just went equals year, just to extract the year from the start date. Down to leap years calculations, click here. And then close my brackets, press enter, turns the year. And I do the same thing then with this one, equals year. And then just go back into my end date, this one here and then close my brackets. Okay, and this gives me the two dates. And then to, to actually can calculate the count ifs, what I did here is I wanted to basically say, um, look, if the, you know, if the date is between these two, so I just went to formulas, uh, went to my insert function, count ifs, click okay. All right. So the first criteria range is going to be basically if this one here, OK, criteria range here. OK. And I want to say open quotation marks greater than or equal to this one and percent this one up here, my start date. OK. And then for the other one, then I just want to count, let's say this one criteria range here, use the year again. And I want to say it's less than open quotation marks, less than or equal to marks and percent this one so basically between those two dates and the other criteria range then i was looking for was basically is it between okay now that should actually be just click that again that should actually be e okay so i wonder what i wasn't getting my e's here and then my criteria range would be if this one here and just go down a fraction if that one is a yes it's quotation marks here and this gives me 14. Okay. Now I'm just going to do a quick check here. Let's say I just do 1920. So just change. I'm going to overwrite the formula for a second. And I'm just going to say 1930. And I'm just going to highlight down those years. And I'm just going to do a very quick conditional formatting here. Highlight cells rules equal to yes. Allows me to do a very quick one here. You can see there I've got one, two, three. Yes, I've got those three leap days, which is here. And it says three here as well. OK, so just go back to my formula again. And just put in my, I can undo that again. And there we have the leap here. And this one as well, the leap here is here. So once I've got my number of leap days, I come back into my leap calculations. And I just go equals, and it's called pull in what's here. And then just the total days will just basically be number of days minus leap year days, give it this one. Now, if you're if you want to use this calculation, all you need to do is just put in the start date and the end date. Now, I've put in the year starting at 1920, and I just do control. It goes down to 2100. Okay, but if you, for example, need to start at a later date on home, you could. If I just go in here and just let's say change that to 1940, um, you see there it, all the dates will update automatically as well. I've set that up with a formula. Right. Hope you find this useful. Mind yourself and take care. Bye.